picture. A covered wagon on a modern boulevard is out of place. Old-fashioned transportation on a modern highway. Here is another picture that has something wrong with it. Modern transportation on an old-fashioned highway. The common everyday spectacle of modern traffic on roads that are as out of date as the covered wagon. Early automobiles were built for one purpose transportation from place to place. But from plain utility, engineering features have developed through the years. Ease and comfort of travel have advanced with the power and speed of up-to-date motor cars. Cars have been designed with improved pickup for passing with greater safety on narrow roads. They have been built with extra power and speed enough for even the best roads built today. Cars today have been designed to ride comfortably, even on the bad roads we still have, because they can absorb the bumps without disturbing the passengers. They can stop quickly and safely on any road. Cars have progressed, but many roads have stood still. Roads that are not so modern as the traffic they carry cause congestion. Congested city streets hinder and delay the movement of traffic cause confusion at busy, crowded corners. The careful driver realizes that he cannot drive on out-of-date roads in the same way that he can safely drive on our finest highways. On roads like these, we slow down and avoid the hazards of blind crossings. We drive cautiously at railroad crossings. By limiting our speed to the condition of the road, we reduce the hazards of such out-of-date roads. No highway is the place for reckless speed. The driver who must race should do his driving on a racetrack. Roads are getting better. Many highways have been designed that eliminate dangers and delays. In almost every city and county in the United States, great progress in road building is being made by the highway engineers and public spirited citizens who realize the great contribution that improved highways are making to progress and safety. Roads have been engineered that are as safe as the modern automobile. Wide, straight roads with special lanes reserved for passing have been laid out so that thousands of motorists can drive on them in heavy traffic swiftly with comfort and safety. Curves have been scientifically banked to make the car hold the road easily at usual driving speeds. Lighting experts have contributed their study of the problem of lighting street intersections. Many highways have been lighted with new and improved methods. Roads that have already been built can be widened and made safer. The state of New Jersey uses fire hose to spread apart these 500 ton slabs of concrete. The moving is repeated until a wide space between the slabs separates traffic into lanes with a landscaped parkway strip in the center. Parkways separate traffic going in opposite directions into smoothly moving one-way streams. In the city, too, advances in road construction bring about savings in time and the elimination of trouble. On the ground, we can see what modern roads mean to our own comfort and safety. From the air, the modern road builders can see what such improvements can mean in mass handling of cars. We can see from the air how the wide, straight, smooth surfaced highway keeps both passenger and commercial traffic moving. 
we can see how highways with separate lanes for traffic speed all motorists on their way. Every such advance in road construction makes possible greater accessibility of the farms with greater freedom for tourists and trailers. Heavy trucks are able to move on the highways without interfering with other traffic. Where highways cross, rotary traffic circles have been designed. Such designs enable cars approaching from all directions to make turns without confusion. And even at very complex intersections, new types of circles keep cars moving with speed and safety. The four-leaf clover design handles heavy traffic at intersections. The clover leaf eliminates left-hand turns where two full streams of traffic cut across each other. Variations of the clover leaf have been developed at congested corners. In the country, separating intersecting thoroughfares by overhead bridges at the crossing points makes for safety. Because one road is elevated above the other, through highway crossings have been made safe. While in the city, grade separation means a smooth flow of traffic at even the busiest hours. The elimination of railroad grade crossings has been one of the most important safety developments. Railroad underpasses have proved their value in saving time and lives wherever they have been built. A network of roads and underpasses leading to the George Washington Bridge across the Hudson River between New York and New Jersey greatly simplifies the handling of traffic. Bridge approaches are wide enough to carry traffic volumes not only for today, but for years to come. Modern bridges are strong enough and wide enough to carry traffic streams far heavier than those of the average road. The new bridges, such as the Triborough Bridge at New York, will do away with the bottlenecks of traffic and free drivers from delay over miles of approaching roads. The Pulaski Aerial Skyway from Jersey City to Newark, New Jersey, carries thousands of cars a day. Highways like this at Alexandria in Louisiana are the road builder's answer to the advancements made by automobile engineers. With these new highways come new advances in engineering, new standards of comfort, new records of economy, and above all, the savings of man's greatest asset, time. Throughout the United States, the American public has shown its interest in the work of improving the highway. We must all encourage the road builders of today who have given us new roads on the ground, contributing so much to public safety. New roads over the ground, adding to the usefulness of the entire road system. New roads under the water, saving time for the motorists. And new roads over the water to keep America's safety record the finest in the world. Thank you.